Hey guys, so if you're looking to buy a new racket, whether this is your first racket ever, you're a beginner and you know super excited to get started, or if you're a more advanced player and you're just looking for a tool to improve your game, take it to the next level, one of the most important things you're going to need to pay attention to is the weight of the racket. So the reason why this is extremely important is because, just think about it, Every time you get on the court, you're hitting hundreds, if not thousands of shots. And if you pick a racket that is, let's just say five grams or, or half an ounce too heavy, all those shots you're hitting, probably they're gonna you know, end up causing an injury. Um, it causes a lot of stress in your arm when you're hitting so many shots with a racket that's too heavy. So, you know, definitely don't want that to happen. And if you end up picking a racket that is too light, I feel like that's not gonna help your game. It, it's going to keep you at a pretty low ceiling, so you're not gonna be able to break it to the next level. So when you're paying attention to the weight of the racket, um, I find that a lot of times it's a little bit hard to find this information. Um, a lot of stores, uh, they'll use a lot of term tennis terminology, which, I mean, if you're an advanced player, you might be familiar with, but if you're just starting, out, I mean, you're probably gonna have no idea what these people are talking about. So today we're gonna be breaking down um, everything you need to know when it comes to the weight of the racket uh, into simple terms. Uh, we're gonna give you some examples of that and we're gonna you know, pretty much uh, establish which sort of racket you should be looking for depending on um, what stage you're in. When you're looking for the weight of the racket, there are two things you're gonna need to pay attention to. The first one is gonna be the actual weight, which is pretty straightforward. And the second one is going to be the balance of the racket, which is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but you know, we'll break it down super easily and uh, you'll be able to understand once you're done with this video. So when looking for the weight of the racket, essentially there are three types of, of rackets you could go for. The first one is the light racket, which will usually um, weigh below 285 grams or 10 and a half ounces. Uh, the second one's going to be the medium racket, which is between 285 grams and 325 grams or 10 and a half ounces to 11 and a half ounces. And then the heavy rackets, which will be above 325 grams or 10, 11 and a half ounces. So, if you end up going for a light racket, what that means is that you're going to be able to generate a lot of power very easily. Um, so if you're a beginner, I think that's the kind of racket you should be going for um, because you know sometimes you won't have the strokes really figured out yet or um, your muscles might not be used to hitting shots. So by getting easy power, that's one less thing you're gonna need to focus on. So. If you're a beginner, I mean, I would suggest at the start to, to go for a light racket. Um, but if you're more advanced, you're probably gonna wanna move on to the, that next level because while a light racket will give you a lot of power, that means you will get less control. So if you're a more advanced player, you're gonna want either a medium racket or a heavy racket because you'll be able to swing harder and the balls will be able to land inside the court and not just the fence, hit the fence every time. So a medium racket, even though you know might you might think that they're just for intermediate players, that a lot of advanced players actually use such rackets. Um, for instance, this is the racket I've been using for a while and it weighs 310 grams. So technically it would be considered a medium racket. So the second aspect you should pay attention to is the balance of the racket, which essentially just means where most of the racket's weight is. So a racket can be either head heavy, which means that most of the weight will be um, on the head. It can be a balanced racket, which means that it would be pretty even, or it can be a light head racket, which means that most of the weight will be on the grip. So as you can see, my racket is light head, right? So a light head racket will be very maneuverable. So you're going to be able to hit your shots. It's not gonna spin around when you hit the ball. And you know, on that same note, it's not gonna give you that much power. 
So if you're, once again, if you're a more advanced player, you should be looking for a light head racket. While if you're a beginner, you should be looking for a head heavy racket, which means that you'd be able to get a lot of power behind your shots um, at the expense of, of a little bit of control. So that's um, the balance of your racket. And while it's pretty important, that's not something that it should be as concerned as the actual weight of the racket. So the way the balance of the racket is measured is essentially, let's just say, this racket is, the length of it is 27 inches. So a perfectly balanced racket, which means that, you know, it would, if I put my finger in here and the racket held exactly like this, um, it would be indicated as the balance of 13 and a half inches, which means that it's exactly halfway in the racket. However, if, let's just say, if it, it starts from the bottom of the grip, so um, it's measured in half inch increments. So let's just say if it was a racket with 10 balance, that means it's essentially the balance of the racket would be right here or more or less right here. But essentially it would be like this, but and because 13 and a half is halfway, right? So if a racket is, let's just say the balance is 16, that means that most of the weight will be uh, roughly right here. So that means that it will be, it would be like this. So, I mean, it can be a little bit confusing, but if you just think about it that way, it's actually not that different. So just to recap a little bit, um, if you're a beginner, you should be probably going for a light racket with a head heavy balance because that's gonna be able to generate the most power out of all rackets. If you're a more advanced player, however, you should probably consider something between a medium and heavy weight racket with more of a, you know, light head balance, um, like this one, love this racket. At the end of the day, you should, if you're in between, um, let's just say, a, a racket that weighs 300 and 305 grams, I would always suggest to go with the lighter one because it's very easy to just add weight to the racket. Um, the way that is done, you just buy this little tape and you put it around here or wherever you wanna put it and that will easily increase the weight of the racket. But if you get a racket that's too heavy for you, it's virtually impossible to, I mean, lower the weight of the racket. So it, that means you're probably gonna need to buy a new one. So if you're in between two weights, I would always suggest you go with the lighter one because um, if you need to change it, it's going to be easier later on. Uh, one more thing is if you're not sure how to figure out you know, the specs of your racket, well, if you're buying it, a racket online, um, pretty much every website you go to, they're gonna have to a little list with the, all the specs of the racket. So you should be looking for the weight of, it's usually measured as the strung weight of the racket, which is obviously going to be more the, the unstrung because you know, unstrung doesn't have the strings. Um, and then the balance of, of the racket itself. And most of, of the websites you go to, most of the stores, they'll have it in both the US metric system and the metric system that's used all around the world besides the US. Um, but if you're going to a store, obviously the person working there should be able to help you with it. But if you don't wanna talk to people, you can just figure it out yourself. And it's usually going to be indicated around the I mean the V of the racket right here or sometimes um, around the head of the racket and I mean there's a lot of this racket for instance is divided into several different places there's a little bit of uh, information right here a little bit on the other side there's some in here but um, I mean you can pretty much every time you'll be able to find exactly what you need in there so essentially that's how to pick the racket with the perfect weight for your level and we hope you enjoyed and if you do have any questions let us know in the comments section below we'll be able to help you but we hope you enjoyed it